Welcome back, Bob Grows here. In this video, we're gonna follow up on how the Carolina Reapers are doing. These are plugs that I bought from Home Depot uh, and I planted some of them in my rain gutter grow system in soil and I also planted one in my deep water culture slash Dutch bucket hydroponic system. We'll look real quick to see if there's any differences. I see some flowers start to come on. Maybe we'll have some crazy fruit before you know it and we could actually find out what it is. So now that we flipped the camera around, we can immediately see the four plants. I put two in each grow bag. These are Walmart grow bags or grocery bags rather, the reusable kind. And it is being sub irrigated from this rail here that has just normal water. Um, it's being drawn up or wicked up rather through the soil here. There you can see the tag that says Carolina Reaper. So we're still waiting to find out if they actually are. But here you can see the leaf structure. It's a little light colored on the leaves, probably needing some more fertilizer, which I will do shortly. You can see the buds beginning to come on right there. And we have a bunch over here, a bunch of flowers and buds. Uh, th there's nothing too remarkable about these. The two plants are still here. They seem to be doing well uh, in need of fertilizer or nutrients, as we can tell. I don't do any watering. All the watering is taken care of by the grow bag itself, wicking up from the bottom, kind of wicks this water up from the top. Anyway, let's go look at the hydroponic uh, plant that is in the Dutch bucket system. You will see that it is remarkably different than these. Now we're by the hydroponic system. This is the same exact plant that came with the other plugs, Carolina Reaper from Home Depot, also about two months old. These were all planted at the same time. There you can see how beautiful and lush it is. You can see how big these leaves are. These leaves are massive. The flowers or buds rather aren't nearly as mature as the other plants. Not entirely certain why. I just recently added more nutrients to this system. It's running one pump that comes across, drips from the top. I'll show you that now. You can see the water dripping down the roots. It's in Hydrotin Media. This is a four inch uh, bucket lid net cup. Um, here's the bucket, firehouse subs as usual. The water level is about right here or so. The entire bucket isn't full. A lot of it is just airspace for it to breathe. And so this is a kind of a hybrid uh, Dutch bucket and DWC setup, kind of like a crack key type influence. But the water just drips down, goes down the media, goes down the roots. It it touches some of the roots and then the, the roots extend down into the water just right down here. There is an aeration pump, which you probably hear, but that's only aerating the reservoir. The water continues to recirculate through all this tubing. I'm gonna show you the roots. There you can see the roots, some of it little tiny air roots. You can see the water level. Uh, there's some algae buildup on the sides. That's not of any importance. As you can see, the roots are doing very, very nice. Anyway, I want to keep you guys updated when we start getting some fruiting going on so you can see. But at least you can visualize the difference between the hydroponic setup and the soil setup. This is doing very, very, very well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Till next time, peace.